And here's the latest on investigations on Korea's spy agency's alleged snooping of civilians. The rift deepens between the rival parties as they disagree on how to get the job done. Our Park ji tells us more. The main opposition party ramped up the pressure on the NIS on Thursday with revelations at a seminar it hosted at the National Assembly. There, panelists discussed the illegality of the spy agency's alleged surveillance methods and technological tools for getting to the truth of the matter. A research fellow at Citizen Lab, the University of Toronto research team that discovered that 21 countries, including Korea, had purchased the Italian spyware program, also joined in via video teleconference. He said based on leaked data from when the Italian hacking company was itself hacked earlier this year, the NIS asked the Italian company to add a feature to the program that would allow it to monitor conversations and messages on Kakao Talk, a smartphone application widely used in Korea. There was an instance where uh, hacking team employees traveled to Korea to hear the concerns of the NIS. And one of the issues, according to hacking team, that the NIS raised is that they wanted the RCS spyware to be improved or to, to add the feature to be able to spy on Kakao Talk conversations and messages. He added, however, it's not known whether hacking team ever changed the spyware tool to add the function. He also said the NIS asked hacking team for support for a phone call recording function, specifically mentioning SK Telecom, Korea's mobile carrier. The Liberal Party vowed to uncover the truth behind the allegations, saying the NIS is threatening national security, implying a loss of credibility with the Korean public and in its intelligence gathering ability. If we can't find the truth in committee, then we'll push for parliamentary inspection. And if the allegations are not resolved through a prosecutorial investigation, we'll need an independent counsel. The ruling Senate Party expressed concerns that the ongoing scandal could hamper the spy agency's cyber intelligence activities against North Korea. We strongly believe that we should stop shooting ourselves in the foot when it comes to national security and destroying our own defense. The Conservative Party stressed that the current allegations are based on speculation, not facts. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.